Hey everyone, hi, uh, this is Mohit, I'm the co-founder of AICNC and this is a quick platform tutorial video of how you can utilize the live chat module of our platform. So once you sign up on our platform, in the left hand side you would be able to see a live chat page. If you click on that, you will be able to see all the leads that are sending you an inbound message on your WhatsApp business account number. So this will give you a unified view of all the leads that are coming from different channels and coming to your WhatsApp business AP account directly. So these leads could be coming from your website. These leads coming could be coming from your email marketing campaign that you might have sent to them with a CTA button of connect with the brand on WhatsApp or something like that. So if they click on the button, they can also land on your WhatsApp. So essentially all the incoming messages that are being sent to you by your users is something which you'll be able to see on the live chat page. And this view is going to be available to all of your agents and managers. They all can see basically what all chats are being coming to you as a brand. All right. Now, next is there are three different sections that you can see here. One is an active section. Another is requesting. And the third one is intervene section. To understand how exactly these are different from each other, it's pretty straightforward. Active section simply means all the chats that are coming from your users and are being catered by the chatbot that you have implemented for your WhatsApp account. So all the charts will become in this active section. Now, any of the charts that require human intervention. Now, there can be two or three cases how, ex how it can exactly be happening. One case could be the users are sending out messages which you haven't configured in the chatbot. Or maybe at some point in the chatbot, you have configured like if a user clicks on this button, they should get redirected towards my agent and my agent could now continue the chat. That could be another case. Third could be they are typing something random, which is non-existing uh, in the world of your you know, business domain. So all the charts will come in the requesting column. And whenever any chat comes from active section to requesting section, there's a notification sound that also happens. And if you're using our mobile app, you, your agents would be getting a notification of all the charts that will be coming to requesting as well. Intervene section is basically once your agent has intervened a particular chat and they have started chatting with them. So that will be coming in this intervene section. Now, uh, let me quickly show you how exactly this works. So I'll be sending this account a uh, message on WhatsApp. And as you can see, as soon as I sent a message on WhatsApp, there's a chatbot that I have implemented that is uh, answering to my questions, right? Now, let's suppose I choose pricing. And for pricing also, we have configured a chatbot. This is a very simple and straightforward chatbot that we have built just for the demo purpose. Obviously, you can build the chatbots according to your business requirements. And from here, let's suppose I choose, for example, if I choose basic plan, pro plan or enterprise plan, the chatbot will give me the answer, but let's suppose I choose to sales. And as a business requirement, I have like if any user chooses talk to sales, it should get uh, transferred to an agent and the agent should pick, a, pick it up and close it. So I choose talk to sales. As soon as I choose, there's a notification sound that has come up and you can see the chat has come from active section to the requesting section. So. Till the time the chat is in the requesting section and as an agent, I haven't intervened the chat yet. Still the chatbot will be active. So now if a user types something, the chatbot will be there to answer it. But once I click on intervene section or the intervene button, the user will go from requesting to intervened. And you can see as an admin of the dashboard, I can see like all the chats which are intervened me by me intervened by any of my team members intervened by others other simply means like uh, all the other team members excluding me or if i have to choose any specific agent that is also which is available now once the chat is intervened by an agent you can see there's a message that has come up user intervened by you and now this is a complete live chat so if a user types anything now for example i choose and type hi you can see there's no chatbot that is replying because the chat is now in the intervene section. Let's suppose I type in, hey, thanks for connecting with us. How can we help? Something like that. 
and I can send them a message. So the user will receive the message real time. If I have to send them an image or anything, uh, any document, any audio file, video file, all those things I can basically share it from here itself. For example, I want to send them this particular image. So I will select this image. I click on done and I'll choose to type in a message if I want or if I want to send out a message directly, I can send uh, the image directly as well. Let's suppose, hey, please refer this. For example, if I want to send this, I can basically send this as well. Right. So you can send images, you can send videos, you can send files, you can send audio files uh, by simply attaching and sending it to the users. So this is the media library. So all the previous files that you have imported on ASNC dashboard, you would be able to choose any of those files and send it to the user. If you want to import a new file, you can click on attach file, choose the file type like image, file, audio, video, whatever you want to send out and you can send it out to the user directly from here. If you want to add any emojis uh, and send it to the users on WhatsApp, you can actually send those out as well from here itself. And bold and italics, the formatting is something which you can do from here directly. So for example, if I choose, hey, I want to make it bold, so I can make it bold. And if I choose like ASNC, I can choose ASNC as italics. So that is also something which I can share with the user on WhatsApp. If there are some defined messages that are there for the agents, those messages can also be sent to the users on WhatsApp. And that is the cane responses. How to set up cane responses? We have a separate tutorial for that. You can surely go and check that out. But yes, you can check out all the cane messages from here. Even the template messages that you have gotten approved from our platform, you can send it from here. And the shortcut of sending out a cane message is just type slash and all the cane messages will pop up. And from here, you can basically check out any of the cane messages. For example, and this is something like you can see, like in cane messages also, there are some template messages which has gotten approved. So you can see like what is template and what exactly is normal cane message. This is the cane message, right? So I choose this is the cane message. You can preview the message from here itself, how exactly the message looks like. And you can send it out to the user on WhatsApp. If you as a agent knows like, hey, this is not something which is my query type, you can transfer the chat to any of the other agents who are out there and that are online or sitting on a platform. You can check it out like, hey, like, for example, Mithul is someone who is not sitting on the platform. He's offline. Saurabhad is someone who are sitting on the platform. I can select them and the chat will be transferred to that particular agent. For example, I want to send it to Preeti. So I click on Preeti and you can see Mohidwa transferred to Preeti by you. So the chat will be transferred to Preeti. And since I am the admin of the dashboard, I can actually see intervened by any option as well. So all the charts that are intervened by any of my agents. I can see it from here itself in this unified dashboard. And you can see this is my chart and this chart is transferred by you to Preeti, currently intervened by Preeti. So Preeti will be handling the charts. And for example, if I use the sense auto message again, they would be able to see all the charts live in the platform, how exactly the agents are replying to it. Also, if I want to take over the chart from Preeti at any point in time, I can also do it. Uh, only the managers and the admin can do the same for taking over a chart, but an agent cannot take over a chart from any other agent. Even an agent cannot see uh, the charts for other agents as well. If you have built this particular functionality as well, that is also possible. All right. So if I want to take over the chart, I can take over the chart from here itself. Now, next is once you feel like, hey, this is something which is resolved and you want to mark it as resolve, you can click on this button and the chart will be closed and will be back to the active section, This, which means the chart is now again back to the chatbot. So this is how you can leverage the live chat module of ASNC. Thanks a lot.